All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about should you invest in knives? And I kind of uh, want to do this video because I get a question or I get a lot of comments, I should say, about the uh, sheer gross value, uh, at least monetary value of my knives in my collection. And it is true. I definitely have some more expensive knives and some of them are here. But I wanted to talk about are knives like a good investment to get into? Because I feel like some people think, and maybe we use it as a self-justification, like, oh, you know, we're buying knives because, you know, you can always sell these knives potentially for a profit. And this is at least how I feel. And I should, or I say that no, I don't think that you should get into knives as an investment. And I'm not going to say that they're the worst thing that you could invest in. Obviously, buying strictly tangible goods like um Maybe food, for instance, is going to be something that you obviously can't use later, you can't save, you can't store. Um, unlike knives, there is potential to flip them on a secondary market for profit, especially if you just so happen to get one for a good price or the price of a knife appreciates. And there are definitely knives um, on the market that are worth more than others but by and large i would consider that most of the time when it comes to knives i see them like watches and that is that you don't really know and most people don't really know what exactly the knife world is going to do as far as um, costs go for certain knives and this can lead to, you know, honestly, if you are buying knives for investments or to flip to sell, you losing a lot of money with certain knives. Now, once again, if you sell enough, if you flip enough, you'll probably stay net positive because most of the time, you know, you can end up working out deals, but also at the same time too, being a flipper isn't the greatest look in the knife community because there are those handful. And if you're a part of any knife forum, whether that's, you know, Reddit, Facebook, um, YouTube, we all kind of know there are certain people that love to flip knives um, and certainly that can be a unique way to get your hands on a lot of knives that you may not otherwise be able to but by and large when it comes down to it no one really loves knife flippers especially the more aggressive ones that you know purposely try to buy knives um, that will be hyped up or hard to get and expressly flip those and if you don't know what I mean places like eBay are filled to the gills with these types of people where used to be you know eBay would be a place that would be hard to get knives to vet authenticity now it's actually easier than ever but at the same time too a lot of the people selling on eBay sell for incredibly high prices so you get what you pay for I guess um, anywho that aside from the point, um, like I was saying, should you invest in knives? I think you should if you enjoy them, but not in the idea of any one knife holding a particular value, like saying that, you know, oh, I bought this knife for $1,000, so this is a $1,000 knife, and therefore, if I try to go to sell it, I can make $1,000, right? Um, if you buy the knife to enjoy it, to use it, to have it in your collection, and, you know, you enjoy what that knife means to you, then that's good, and it's worth the price, I suppose. But if you're trying to buy it and specifically treat it as a safe queen to say, oh, I'm not going to use this knife because I might have to flip it and sell it, I think that is definitely a very misguided uh, manner. And so the biggest thing I would say is definitely um, I take a lot of inspiration from different people in the watch world, and they've consistently said that, you know, if you buy watches, don't buy them as investments because certain ones can yield more money than others and certainly there are some uh, watches much like knives that are definitely very overhyped and can bring in money but by and large if you specifically try to invest in knives like watches you will probably end up losing money at some point because these are not investments and they are really designed to be users and I think on top of that like going to the next point um, you know watches much like knives much like cars much like anything are really designed to be used so if you do buy knives with the express intent of you know locking them away in a gun safe and keeping them safe until you're going to sell them or you know getting them out only to play with them um, you really miss the purpose of knives as a whole, whether it's expensive customs, mid techs, um, or even just full production knives. All knives are designed to really be used. And granted, there are some that are more rare than others. And so you want to treat those more rare knives, I would say personally, 
with that degree of respect. Like this, obviously, being a full custom, is a reasonably rare knife, and not even talking about its monetary value. You know, I wouldn't necessarily take this with me to, you know, extreme places like the Kobuk sand dunes, and I wouldn't treat it like a fillet knife, right? Um, because it's a certain there's a certain level of rarity to the knife, and I want to treat it like that. Um, so a full production knife you can treat as a little less rare and therefore a little more rough. But by and large, all of these knives are designed to be users. And so therefore, if you specifically have it as a safe queen, you're really going to miss the intent, the purpose, and the overall reason to own knives as a whole. And once again, the same thing could be said about watches. You know, if you have a really nice um, Rolex Submariner, you know, it's really designed to be used, to be worn, and to tell the time, right? And so it can't really tell the time if it's sitting in your safe, you know, safely away, not going to be damaged, right? It's just going to be running or sometimes not running um, and, and not really helping anyone. So anyways, that's kind of my perspective on knives like i said i view them really more like people value watches and that is that they're great to own they're great to have expensive ones are great as well cheap ones can be fun too so long as you're getting the right you know kinds of cheap ones like casios and such um but at the same time they're designed to be used not just thrown in a gun safe and shrewd away forever anyways guys hopefully enjoyed the video hopefully Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you collect knives for investment or do you just collect knives because they're fun to collect and you enjoy owning them? That's really where I stand with it. And once again, you know, for me, there are definitely some knives that see harder and more use than others. And I don't necessarily baby any of my knives, but there are definitely some, according to their rarity, that I treat as their rarity um, kind of is. So if I have a super rare knife, I'm going to treat it that way and not, you know, obviously thrash on it. But if I have a super unrare knife at the same time, I will definitely treat it accordingly as well. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.